Hi, it's Wendy Pett, creator of the Visibly Fit Exercise and Wellness System. And if you are drinking enough water, you will eventually end up in the bathroom. Trust me. <laughs> and I hope you are drinking enough water. Your body needs half of its body weight in ounces every day. So make sure you drink and drink often. Now, when you end up in the bathroom, it's a good time to actually get in a workout. I know, sounds a little crazy, but if we could start to create um, exercise along with what we're already habitually doing, it starts to reinforce movement throughout our day. So for instance, say you're in the bathroom and you have a bathtub, okay? So after you use the facility, then you come over to the bathtub and you just do a few tricep dips. Again, we're thinking about exercise differently. You wanna put your hands close to your hips, your bottom is close to the tub, elbows tucked in and you slowly dip down and then you slowly come up okay you'll do 10 to 12 of these maybe you want to do more I don't know your strength level maybe you want to do three sets I don't know how much time you have but again it's about thinking differently about your exercise and getting it in to your busy day now Maybe you aren't at a bathroom, you're at a restroom, so a public facility, and you are in a stall or you are outside where the mirrors are. There are other things that you can do. Like for instance, here is uh, an exercise that I teach often. It's, it's called a pectoral contraction, and it's really like a moving isometric, if you will. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your um, arms out. I want you to have flexion and tension all the way down your from fingertip to fingertip and stomach stomach is in tight and I want you to slowly squeeze your arms together now this may seem a little silly but I promise if you just did 10 or 12 of these when every time you go to the bathroom or, or one of these kind of moves that I'm going to show you today you will start thinking of exercise differently you will fit it into your busy day and it will eliminate excuses and that's what we want so again you are flexing you're tensing you're squeezing this is a uh, moving isometric if you will more like um, visualized resistance so you're working your bicep your tricep your uh, forearms your chest your back all of that and even your ab abdominals and your low back now Again, you may seem, it may seem like it's a little silly to do that in the bathroom, but, but I want you to trust me. If you start to correlate exercise with, again, things that you're already doing, like going to the bathroom and hopefully you're drinking enough water that you're doing that, you can start incorporating exercise. Here's another one that I like a lot. It's called the high reach. So you start like this with your arms up in a goal post position. You can see them flexing and then you slowly rotate your upper body, okay? Are you doing this with me? I hope so. Rotate your upper body so your hips stay, stay, stay straight. And then you're just going to reach as high as you can up to the ceiling. You can see that I'm shaking. I'm using a lot of flexion and tension. And then you slowly bring this arm down, working the upper back, okay? And then you'll just slightly twist to the other side and then reach up to the other side. And then pull that arm down. Now, hopefully there's no one in the bathroom or restroom with you. And so you don't feel a little funny, but you can also do this right in the stall, but it's about thinking about exercise differently, getting creative and fitting it in because when you eliminate excuses, you reach your desired goals. Okay. Now here's something else that I like to do is while you have that mirror, it's great to have that positive affirmation. So as I was doing some of the exercises, let's move to the next one, I'll show you what I mean. This is called the one arm shin, okay? You're going to twist the upper body like we just did, um, and you're going to reach up with all your might. Now, as I am reaching up, I am looking in the mirror, and I wanna make sure that I am flexing and tightening my body, right? So having that positive affirmation while looking in the mirror allows you to do it more effectively and efficiently and make sure that you're really doing it correctly. And then you're going to slowly bring your arm down and exhale while you do a crunch. It's pretty cool, right? So you get that positive affirmation and also you can speak uh, scripture verses to yourself 
and positive affirmations like I am fearfully and wonderfully made, so much you can do in the bathroom. So start thinking creatively, maximize your time with minimal effort, and you're gonna get in great shape.